All right, this is the second section, the Sovereign Universal Affidavit of Fact, Sovereign Universal Original Indigenous Currency Controller. Now, this has gone to the control of currency people and all the agents there, in addition to the corporations. Um, some of you are commenting in the comment section about the court system. You guys keep in mind that Article Three courts, those de jure courts, the, the real proper lawful courts, in fact, those buildings belong to us. They're ancient. They're on where they're located. Apparently, according to Queen Valeria Bay, you can go back and listen to her explain about all of these um, areas that are set up for us by our ancestors. The way the court is designed, everything about the court belongs to us. So if you can look spiritually into what's happening on a much deeper level, you'll be able to see clearly. Some of you are complaining that arrests need to take place more. I don't even know if I see it that way anymore because so many things are at play. Anyways, let's go on to read this now. Um, it starts off the same where the original indigenous sovereign divine, natural divine Moorish American nationals. I'm going to skip some of it and read um, the sections that are... Um, pertaining to this particular document. Um, it goes on to say, all processes at every post office were gold, silver, metal, and min mineral backed exchanges are performed, shall be overseen and performed by declared, proclaimed, and recorded Moorish American nationals, who are the de jure original indigenous sovereign Moorish National Republic federal government and no others. The natural, the national status and nationality of the holder of all instruments shall determine the status and value of that instrument. All Moorish Americans have money of account on record at the discretion of this government. All post offices and territories on Moorish American sovereign land are now under the Moorish American gold standard and shall fly the universal flag of the original indigenous sovereign Moorish American people, which has a red field and a green five-pointed star in the center at all times in plain view publicly, and no other flags are authorized. The following corporations and corporation entities, their agents, principals, heirs, and assigns are commanded to cease operations and are forbidden to trespass on our sovereign original indigenous land. Office of the Comptroller of Currency, 250 East Street, Southwest Washington, D.C., 2019, phone 202 When you read this document, you'll see the registered post um, numbers that were apparently sent to all of these entities. Um, you'll go down, you'll see Stephen Mnuchin, Stephen A. Um, Leibarger, Barger, um, Beverly Evans, um, Central District District One Financial Place, Northeastern District Three Three Forty Madison Avenue, Southern District um, Five Hundred North, Acard Street, Western District. Um, 1225 17th Street. So a lot of us had to lean up the control of currencies because when you think about it, a lot of the fraud, we know it started from the IRS, Spanish Inquisition, Internal Revenue Service, but these other corporate entities sat by and idly watched all the fraud take place with those fraud foreclosures and all the fraud citations and all the unlawful arrests and incarcerations that have been implemented. Um, what we have done to prepare for this current activation of the Moorish American gold standard on our land, declared and proclaimed with one voice our universal sovereignty over our vast estate and ancient Moorish American Moroccan empire, activated the Moorish American consulate, are commissioned as commissioned by the de jure Moorish Moorish National Republic Federal Government. The recorded date of said commissioning is May 18, 2018. And then it goes on to say, notified all doing business as de facto governance, President of the United States Attorney General, U.S. Secretary of State, 
many administrative clerks, clerk of the courts, attorneys, archdiocese, and those doing business under the foreign British titles of our existence. Four, re-energize the ancient, current, and continuous de jure original indigenous sovereign divine natural Moorish national republic federal government the said governance of the people by the people and for the people continues to stand the signatures of the original indigenous sovereign people have placed on the public record by the people and will continue to be placed on the public record in perpetuity I don't like that word perpetuity. I never understand what that word means. Um, activated the ancient original indigenous sovereign supreme judiciary of the de jure Moorish American consulate and the de jure Moorish national republic government, federal government activated the national trust of the people who are the ancient de jure original indigenous sovereign natural divine Moorish national republic federal government said trust has been placed on the public record at numerous locations all over our land to include Alamance County, North Carolina Territory, um, King County, Washington at Empire of the Moors land, the de jure national, and it goes on up to 1415. Place 100, now this looks like trillion tribute credit money of account in gold and silver in the national trust for each Moorish American national at North America. Said tribute has been placed in the trust and apparently this goes on to say that this um, is unlimited. Um, has been placed in the trust of the Moorish American national as, as is a tribute to the Moorish American people at the discretion of the Moorish National Republic federal government and in alignment with proven command of sovereign universal commercial laws and principles. Said credit instrument has been placed on the public record, public lands record at Pierce County, Washington Territory, 0507, 2019 at 326.02 p.m. 326.02, recording number 2019. 0507-0653, pages 25, 26, and 27, up to 66 pages. Notification of said tribute credit money of account is affirmed, received by the U.S. Treasury, Treasurer Yovita Carranza. I was just thinking that because she's the um, she's the treasurer for the Moors, eh? By way of USPS registered mail, um, RE37. Five four five three seven eight zero U.S. on April 26, 2019, at 11 Ant Meridian. What the sovereign indigenous nations can do to assist the American Gold Standard activation, and then it goes on to list here: notify all indigenous nations and states of implementation of the process of the pursuant to this document. I've already written an affidavit to all international authorities in the prior video I just created. Maintain their sovereign national gold and silver backed currencies if they have them. For those who do not have them, said indigenous sovereign nations have equal universal sovereign commercial rights whereby they can receive gold and or gold back universal affidavits of credits directly from the de jure Moorish National Republic federal government regardless of any past fiat obligations as all fiat obligations and all related fiat debts are forgiven. They are forgiven. They're forgiven. Okay. This said uh, sovereign rights are considered currencies as pursuant to this lawful document. All United States corporation companies were uh, contracts were canceled and abolished in by the de jure sovereign governments by lawful published affidavit and universal commercial code one lien on August 3rd, 2018. Oh, wow. Original affidavit. Of said lien has been provided by the universal and it goes on people. I don't think I have the time to read this entire document. Those of you who wish to have a copy of this document can email us at the mullings at gmail.com. I suggest you guys photocopy this, print this out and serve it on any court cases you're dealing with currently or any fraudsters you're dealing with currently. Um, also, you can join our online tutor school class at the mullings at gmail.com. You can donate to us at the mullings at gmail.com. And you can write to us for a private consultation, email consultation at themillings at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.